Welcome to TV TV Sport on Non League Day 2024 for Wimborne Town against Westbury United in the Southern League Division 1 South. So let's get straight into it and have a look at the league tables before the start of play. Wimborne Town sitting top with Froome chasing hard, Westbury United in 17th. And in terms of current form, those positions are replicated. Wimborne top, Westbury 17th over the last 10 games. It's a blowy old day in Wimborne and the weather itself is giving us all four seasons in the space of 90 minutes. Yep, same to you, Michael. Matches between these two sides are usually full of incidents, so I'm looking forward to a few goals today. And as well as plenty of goals, I'm looking forward to seeing plenty of people. It is, after all, non-league day 2024, and the club have put on a couple of deals to entice the locals. When are you putting the cameras on? Right about now. Butterfingers. Right, that's enough mucking about. Let's have a look at the squads and starting 11s, which includes a debut for young 18-year-old AFC Bournemouth loanee Johnny Stuttle. Okay, let's get cracking. Oscar, play your whistle, mate. When you're on a title running, there's nothing like a fast start to get things moving. Hangers free kick is cut back by Sam Jackson and <coughs> clinically dispatched by Connor Coughlin. 1 0 to the Magpies. <laughs> We're nearly 20 minutes in and the Magpies have been pretty dominant, although not creating too many clear chances. However, here we have Stuttle going through for his first chance. On 27 minutes, the Magpies thought they'd had a second. Nah, not really. <laughs> Wimbledon were playing some really nice stuff, cutting out attacks and breaking with purpose. at the 37th minute mark now and Baker pulls it back but neither Stuttle or Morgan can apply the finish. Two minutes later and Stuttle gets his second opportunity. Just a few minutes after that the heavens absolutely opened. and the home side fired in a succession of corners. The visitors could be forgiven for thinking that they'd survived the torrential downpour of rain and corners. But with just one minute of the half remaining, Matty Neal pulls this one out of the locker. After the ball is unwittingly played into his path by a Westbury defender, Neil makes no mistake.
Two minutes into the second half and Baker and Stuttle were at it again. <laughs> Up to this point, the ball hadn't really entered Wimborne territory, although Jasper Jones had this early tentative effort. A few moments later, and Craig Lotston tries his luck. Regular viewers will be familiar with the campaign that I'm now convinced is taking place to try and kill me. Next up on the hit squad, Josh Carmichael. You might be getting battered in terms of possession, but if you have a shot at goal, literally anything could happen. Following Flitney's parry, Jones is first on the spot and brings Westbury to within a goal of parity. With seven minutes on from that strike by Jones, and it's time for a debut goal. Matt Neil uses a right foot that hardly anybody knew he possessed for the second time in the match and puts it on a plate for Stuttle to drive home. Five minutes left now, and to their credit, Westbury are still going for it. Wimbledon's incredible recent knack of gifting goals to the opposition strikes again, and Westbury have got something to play for. Those deals have obviously paid off, and we have an attendance of 908. Absolutely fantastic. But what's this? Surely not. <laughs> that two's effort proved to be the last of the game and the referee soon blew up. Finishes Wimble Town 3, Westbury United 2. Wimborne retained their four-point gap to second place Froome and it looks like a shootout between those two. Although Froome do have a game in hand, the Magpies still have matters in their own hands. <laughs> Okay, my voice is going again. That's what you call timing, folks. Next week, I'm at Hamworthy Recreation, another promotion-chasing club. Just call me a lucky mascot. Join me then. Oh,